Right, welcome back to, to the all... channel. This is a bit random, guys. This is a random video. Yeah, like we're sat in the car. We wanted to just give you an update of what's been going yeah. on in our lives. We've got really. a lot going on at the moment. Obviously, we're off on holiday tomorrow, which we can't. <gasps> Not tomorrow. What? Oh, Why God. He just hit that post. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Is it really that dramatic that you've got Sorry. screaming in my ear? Yeah, like... it is. Right, so we've got so much going on at the moment. Obviously, we're, tr we're still working. We've got two kids. Poppy's pregnant. We're going on holiday tomorrow, which is also work because we're working to do the holiday. And we can't wait to share with you guys where we're going. No, I can't wait. We can't um, say anything now, though. I've obviously been trying to open the shop and we've been we've moved in that this whole process like our life has just been absolutely non-stop at the moment yeah but it's all it's all good like you know what I mean we're we're, we're moving on aren't we in life, yeah darling? things are good but the main point of this video is obviously a lot of you know that we um, move like you just said pretty much this is just gonna be a rant yeah there's been a lot going on <laughs> with the land on the estate agent and the new house and things we haven't shared have we yeah and i feel like therapy yeah is talking about your problems so you are our therapist so yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah come along with us with our therapy our experience from day one with this landlord has been a absolute nightmare nightmare sorry about the language obviously we moved in, everything was great, the house is lovely, but it's a new build, so you get like a few bits and bobs, you get problems that are wrong with it. Oh, no, I shouldn't have put gum in my mouth when we were about to talk. The first day we moved in, no, when we viewed the property, the landlord had put all his stuff under the stairs. Oh right? yeah, that was it, that was this it. This is starting <laughs> from day dot. Right, so this is day dot, yeah? We're meant to be moving in, the property's meant to be ready. We it's, told the guy. And it's meant to be cleaned as well, that's another issue, no, wasn't it? It was so not clean. It was like walking into my shop. It's like a site. That was like from the office, it was like, oh, for God's sake, so now we've got to get a cleaner in. Yeah. And then the fridge wasn't wired in. So we had no fridge that was turned on. So we couldn't actually physically move in on the day. But we were like, oh, whatever, like, we'll just start moving things. Because um, our plan was to sort of get there and have the first night there. Yeah. And be all excited. So then we're moving stuff in and I'll go to like put storage in to the bottom um, underneath the stairs. There's a little like cubby hole. And it hadn't been emptied. <laughs> It's full of like carpet, yeah. tiles, paint and everything. And I'm like... We saw that though when we viewed it and we said like we need this space. Yeah, like, yeah, that yeah, all yeah. needs to be Obviously. moved and it hadn't been moved. Yeah. So... so then at this point we're dealing with the landlord. Yeah. Yeah, there's no estate agent. The estate agent has passed the keys on blah, 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 you're now going to deal with the landlord. Yeah. So we're like, okay, that's fine. So I ring the landlord and I'm like, hello, um, when is the understairs cupboard going to be cleared? Obviously this is our moving in date. Like we need the space. W what do you mean? I'm like... Well, it's got carpet, tiles, paint. and paint. And he's like, yeah, that's where I'm storing it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? And he was like, well, that's where I'm storing it. It's spare stuff for the house. And I was like, no, I've, I've rented this property, yeah? I've got a map of what I'm paying for. Like, I need this space. And yeah. like, bearing in mind, there's not a lot of cupboard space, is no, there? There's, there's not, not a lot of storage space in there. There's no, like, air and cupboard. There's no loft. There's no, like, there's nothing at all, is there? Yeah. So, it's valuable space. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, well, no, that's not how it works. Like, I'm paying to rent your property. Can can you please clear it? And he's like, no, no, I'm not clearing it. It's where I'm storing it. And I'm like, mate, I'm paying to rent your property. Anyway, we finally got him to to remove the stuff yeah. after a week yeah so we couldn't even use the space for a week which is just a bit of annoying but like we were like whatever you know stuff happens it's new yeah. property whatever like we didn't get that heated about it no we no just, it wasn't like, heated at no, all no it wasn't actually. heated at all but i just i was very stern in the fact that no yeah, like, we're, we we're pay paying, for this space yeah and we need it and we need it. it it's not like we're being like yeah. finicky that we're not going to use it but do you know what i mean like yeah that the understairs cupboard is ram pat like i'll show yeah. you and then obviously you guys know that i am a big like God, I, I used to be a gardener, so yeah, like I take a lot. I love my garden, take a lot of pride in my garden. If you go through like our back TikToks, like you can see how stunning our garden is. I just thought it was like um housing association. You do what you want and you put it back at the end, like like we did with the housing association. We just we put it back to how it was. So obviously I, I've got there. I've made a little flower bed, put my flowers in, planted my tree. Thought nothing of it. Then there was issues with bathroom was leaking, so water was coming through downstairs. Yeah, the oven didn't work. The oven didn't work. Oh, the doors to the bathrooms opened in onto the glass And the doors. handles the are handles, pointy, so and they kept hitting the, the glass. Would like, yeah, the and girls, I was like- And we were like, the, the, the glass is gonna I was shatter. like, this ain't safe. No. Like, this is not safe. We've raised all this to him, and then his handyman's come round to look at everything and noticed our garden and then snitched on us and said that, oh, they planted a tree, they've planted a rockery, they've done this, they've done that. So then so we, we get, get a, a, a 
email yeah. from the estate agent yeah. saying you need to rectify this garden immediately otherwise your tenancy can be terminated I'm and something so funny. minor that can be rectified as well but yeah like it, he, you literally dug up just a little bit of turf a little bit of turf to make and a flower kept bed. the turf and kept it yeah so that you could put it back when we right. move out like it wasn't it's not like we've gone in there and changed the kitchen and bathroom and oh, no. we're not changing anything structurally it was so minor but anyway oh, i didn't want to upset anyone i didn't want to pick anyone no. off we just moved poppy's pregnant yeah. she's stressed we're having a baby like she's she sort of made us feel like our tenancy is at risk and yeah, i'm a right bit from like the offset. yeah and i'm a bit like i've got two kids and one on the way and a pregnant wife if you want to say um but like <laughs> I want security for my family and that's yeah. the one thing I want and like you've come in and just threatened us straight away with our tenancy and I think it's such a like horrible thing to do for a, for an estate agent have a bit of like decency about it and don't don't yeah, be she, such a she's coming don't from, be such a Karen from yeah the yeah off. she has been a Karen she's come from, from come for us but I, I I chewed the bullet or whatever you call it I bit the gun or bit the bullet or whatever it is <laughs> and um rectified it put it back whatever also like the first week of moving in we miss out that like we we thought they were rats or mice in, in, oh in the gosh. house right because me and jay were sat there in the evening like we said it's got to be really quiet because we've got kids yeah so we're sat there in the evening yeah and like the tv's on six like, yeah the TV's on we're six. reading subtitles to watch the tv <laughs> yeah. right and we start hearing scurrying in the walls and we're like oh because we literally had them in that we have lived in the a house. barn before and yeah like, and it was full of mice. It wasn't full, babe. It just had a mice problem. It Honey, full we, were of find, mice. we were finding mice in the cupboards and under the sofa. There was no droppings. You weren't finding mice, don't we? Yeah, we were. So and we so I emailed. messaged him and I said like, "Oh, there's rats or mice in the blind." He was like, "No, it's um bats." Bats. So we can't do anything about it. Yeah, there's it. like an infestation of bats in the roof and we weren't even told. It's like, why are you not telling us? Like, <laughs> yeah, when we've I rented know. this property, like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that, that should actually be, be told. I think I think that's actually law that you have to tell us. Yeah, yeah, there's like they're a bite. In, in you can't do anything no. with bats. So anyway, we're trying to sort out these, it's called a snag problems. list. It's yeah. like a snag. Every new build has a snag list. Yeah. And straight from the off, Landlord's like, not doing the door stops for the doors to smash into the glass. Like, no, not doing that. I've got two little kids here that are running around. You are doing it. Like, you, that's that's the safety of my kids, mate. If I've gone against it, yeah, because I don't give a shit, mate. And I've glued um, door stops down because you can't drill because it's under floor heating. Done it, like, really neatly. Yeah. It looks really professional. I'm, I'm quite handy, as you know, from the shop. It like, should have been done anyway. Like, it that, should have been done. That's such a bad design. Like, yeah. putting pointy door yeah, handles mate, up against glass. Me. Like, yeah. use your head. It's just silly. So then the arrangement to get the handyman in to do the leak... He came, but he came with the wrong tools, so I couldn't do it. Yeah. Right? So not our fault. Then came back. Not our fault. But came had, back when, still when, had the wrong bits. No, no, no. He came back when we were on holiday. Yeah, and was like, we're, we're like, I can't get in. And it's like, well... We're on holiday. You've not even told us you're coming. Yeah. We were emailing, and we are like, oh, we might be able to do this day, might be able to do that day. And then, because we said might be able to do that day, not confirmed anything, she sent him there anyway. And yeah. then sent us another email saying if you carry on like this we're gonna have to um charge you for the handyman's time for the handyman's call out i was like F right <laughs> off for a minute mate so yeah, we no. sent him an email saying like if you actually scroll up and read the conversation we've not confirmed a single day no. so don't threaten us again and this was the first time we said like don't threaten us yeah like we're charging us like who who do you think you are it's taken them six or seven weeks to sort out our oven yeah so we've not even had a full oven so there's all, all these things have been going on like she's been emailing, emailing us like probably every week just like really rude emails like borderline harassment i'm gonna say i'm not gonna yeah, lie 100%. like we've been so stressed with dealing with this property and yeah. everything else in our lives it's just like we don't need it oh right no can i just say the parking issue as well oh yeah so There's you could so only much. get right so this landlord yeah every, every time i spoke to him yeah he's like i've got loads of properties i do this like i do this 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 and i'm like mate i don't actually care like how much money you've got how many properties you've got like every time i see him he's like you know i've got this and i'm like if you've got all this yeah how can you not think of like these simple things that need to be done to properties he's built a driveway right it needs to be extended by this much yeah to make it a two-car driveway yeah why why have you done a driveway that's this car has to go right up to the fence and that car has to go right up to this and you literally cannot open the doors, open the doors on this car you have to climb through anything. the dipping boot yeah <laughs> and then you get onto the lawn on the other side i've kindly said to him i'm like Look, like you only got to like extend it by two feet. Um, you know, is this something that we'd be able to do? I'm more than happy, yeah, if you do the cost of 
the materials, I'm more than happy to do it. My time, I, I will do it out of my time, yeah? So it's a bit of like of a, it's a bit of a 50-50. Yeah. And I'm like, you, you're only increasing the value of your property. And he's like, nah, nah, I can't do that, can't do that. Two days later, <laughs> he's outside doing his driveway next door. Yeah, well, it's not it. his, he's trying to sell it. Yeah, he's trying to sell it, and yeah. I'm like, is this geezer all right, yeah. mate? He'll extend it when we're gone. Yeah, 100%. I just don't think he's liked us from the offset with the whole understairs cupboard. Yeah. Because that was like the day that we were moving in. That's like the day And we were quite stern started. with him. We just told him, Yeah, like, we weren't rude, not... but we were stern. Yeah, like, you're not storing your stuff. We're not paying for you to store your stuff for your house, honey. No. Oh, no, no. And then, no, the, the flipping door number. Oh yeah. Oh, the door no, the, the house hasn't got a door number on it yet and I'm like, oh can you please sort out a door number for the house? Like but it's not a door number because it's a name and a door number. So it's like you have to get a special plate done, yeah? yeah. And the thing is like he's really particular, so like everything has to be run by him. Okay, that's fine, like, yeah, can you do that then? And he's like, Well, I'm not paying for it and I'm like, What do you mean? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, yeah. What do you mean you're not paying for it? I was like, it's your property. So yesterday was our final straw because we got another email. Earlier on in the week um, I had to, obviously, because I've been at the shop, literally, I've been at the shop seven days a week, eight to eight, 12 hours a day. I had to come back in the mid middle of the day to film an ad. Obviously, the shop's on my mind anyway. The ad, I burnt the food. <laughs> yeah, I can whatever. Love now. Poppy's been brilliant, yeah, while well, I've been working on this shop. Poppy's been keeping the business running, keeping the girls looked after. Like, you've been letting me focus on the shop so obviously it's got to you and anyway it was because i was focusing on the shop and not the ad and i let them burn so it obviously got to her and we got into a very heated argument me and poppy like we're, we're always tell you we've always told you from day dot yeah we have arguments like i feel like all couples have arguments it's part of life and that is just part of a relationship so like me and poppy will have like a big blowout like once or twice a year maybe like depending on how stressful the year is. So we've got an email from this f***ing estate agent. <laughs> Can I just say for one second though, this this argument lasted a couple of minutes yeah, at most. Yeah, that, right. You know, there was no like, we weren't fighting each other. We weren't, you know, smashing no. stuff up or anything. We weren't outside our house. It was just a private argument inside that got heated and it lasted a couple of minutes. I went off to cool down, it dispersed it was done so we get an email hope you're both well i'm sorry to be emailing you as you're going away today we're not but felt this was something that cannot wait until you return i'm like oh f now yeah, what? So she wants to ruin i'm literally holiday. like what now yeah i know it's been brought to my attention for a complaint we have received that the noise levels at is at unacceptable levels and is causing a severe disturbance to your surrounding neighbors i've been provided evidence of this and understand that the shouting and screaming is happening at alarming levels and from early in the morning throughout the day and continuing into the evening most days as per your tenancy agreement you are required to maintain a respectful level of noise in your property and to be always aware of your neighbor's right to acquire quiet enjoyment. Should the frequency and severity of these complaints continue, it will likely affect the landlord's decision to renew your tenancy. I need to make it clear that this is unacceptable and must stop immediately. Again, yeah, you're threatening me with the tenancy. And it's very... Mate, we're a family. Yeah. I've got two kids. I've got a pregnant girlfriend that needs security and you're threatening with the tenancy again. We're two months into renting this property and you've threatened us with the tenancy twice now. Yeah. They've provided evidence, yeah? They've filmed pop like our, our our argument yeah, yeah. and they provided evidence but like we'll always put our hands up anyway that's fine but don't because i'm not there i'm literally not there at the moment i'm yeah. working on the shop eight days a week even though there's only seven <laughs> <laughs> and when i get home the kids are in bed yeah. we have to be dead quiet like the tv is subtitled they're probably referring to our kids which is what got, got my back up the most because we know we don't argue every day because we've yeah. not even been together and don't get me wrong frankie and Rosa are a bit like you they, know they are they're loud. learning they're learning to share yeah but they're kids they are up at seven and they are Frank's is screaming because that's like her way of communicating at the moment and I understand that's probably a bit annoying but at the end of the day what, what can you, you do yeah you what do you want me to muzzle, do muzzle my child yeah like I know that he's referring to our children which is really which is what got my back up and do you know what the funny thing is they've got two yappy f dogs <laughs> mate <laughs> Don't threaten us with a tenancy when I've got two kids and a family to provide security yeah. for. I called her straight away because I was yeah. like, I'm not having that. No. And uh, she said to me, I said, I said, look, I said, it was a blowout. I don't know what the rest of the accusation is because it's false because I'm currently doing this. Poppy's like, blah, blah, blah. I told him, yeah. And she's like, oh, no, I understand. I, I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes. But 
um, if you know as long as you can guarantee it doesn't happen again and i said i can't guarantee it ain't gonna happen again like it's part of life if i was playing music all day every day yeah completely understand that's a noise complaint not one argument that lasts two minutes maybe. yeah no can i backtrack though because yeah, let me just say the landlord right has been living next to us in one of the barns like yeah I this said, is the funny thing for like three or four weeks right yeah and he has not said boot or he's not come around and said the noise level in this house yeah. is too much you need to be quiet i'm having complaints from the other tenants it's all too much be quiet he's not said nothing yeah. he's not said nothing to us he's not said nothing to the estate agent and i said that to her and i was like surely if, if we were making yeah. that much noise that was causing that much disturbance to our tenants by right, that they the couldn't live their lives said to you, the landlords would have come round or, or said to you to can you, you send the email saying like yeah you need to tell these tenants to be quiet she's like well he doesn't have to do that and i was like yeah okay, he doesn't have to but surely he would but oh. you shouldn't approach people like that anyway you should like that's you should... what i said to her i said your emails from day one have been really stern very accusational insensitive unprofessional and she's like oh i'm really sorry about that i'm going to work on it and i'm like you're not though are you to top it off i get home park and he's like um whose car's that and um daisy your sister's parked somewhere else because there's only two guest bays when there's four five six seven houses on the thing there's only two yeah. guest bays where can she park like there's nowhere for her to park. Yeah, right? the landlord won't extend the drive. And won't drive. extend the drive. Like if you send my driver, don't have to park our second car in one of the guest bays. No, and Daisy can park where in the you guest would bay. park. Yeah, no, like... but where would you park? Because you're not here every day. Oh, honestly, and I had a really just, I just had a breakdown this morning because I thought. Oh, oh you did, but, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I just thought, it's, I don't feel like I can just live my life in my house. I, I don't feel I like actually, my kids can live. I felt like this from the garden situation. My garden is my yeah, I understand passion that. and that, that I was like, I don't want to live here. But I was like, Poppy needs security and you need that sense of, you don't want to be moving again. But now we're both no, but at the now point I'm not, like, I want to move. Yeah, I really do. Gonna, I don't want to have to move. deal with her. We're I don't want to have to deal with the landlord or neighbors. We've never once had a complaint. Like me and Jay have been the same. Yeah. forever like th we are who we are we've not once ever had a complaint with neighbors or the landlord or state agents we've never once had a problem like we've always been very respectful to the property to our neighbors like we're just normal people living normal lives and yeah. i just feel like moving into this place is it, it i just i'm getting bad vibes i'm getting bad i just vibes. i don't want to be there no i don't want to be there like either. i want to move now it's just a, another stress like we still haven't opened the shop i'm still pregnant <laughs> Um, you know, getting heavier and in more when pain, our, and it's um, like now month, we're gonna have to move. When does our six month break end? Well, we've only been there two months, so we have to give our notice within two months for to activate the six month okay. break clause. Will we have a newborn baby? It'll be when the baby's due, yeah. So it'll be August the 9th, yeah. Will be our end date, yeah. And the baby's due at the end of August, 20th. So we'll have to move literally right when Poppy's at the end of the thing, but we have to because well, I don't want to be there. No, neither do I. We've not even, we like, didn't even tell him about the the, the, key, the lock. The, the key, key keeps key gets getting, getting stuck, stuck in the lock. So it's we're like spending a... half an hour every time we open the bloody door to get the key out. Yeah. It's like, I can't leave the key in it. I've got children. I don't want someone just walking in and, do you know what and I mean? And like Poppy like... said, he was he moved next door. I went round there. It was like seven o'clock. I got home at seven o'clock. Couldn't get the key out for about 15 minutes. And I was just like, oh, I literally cannot be dealing with this. So I went round to the landlord's house, knocked on the door. I was like, hello, mate. I was like, I hope you're right. Um, can't get... I was like, I can't get the key out of the door. It's like this lock here. I was like, I don't suppose like you know, is there like a knack of doing it? Like, have you had the same problem? He was like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, well. Like, yeah, like literally that was his attitude. Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, well, he was like, well, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, I don't I don't want you to do anything. I'm just coming around and asking you if if you know, like if there's a way of getting the key out. I've been trying to do it for, well, call a locksmith. And I'm like, it was bank holiday as well, by the way, so you wouldn't have gone no, to the anyway. No, and I was anyway, just like... We would have called the I didn't even, in that situation just, anyway. I walked away from the conversation yeah. and didn't say anything to him. I just went, okay, it's, it's yeah, done. Yeah, it's just, honestly, it's I, have a I have a headache now, yeah, okay. talking about it, thinking about it. I have a massive headache because I just... But what kind of a person threatens a family? I don't, I don't care. Like, you don't threaten people. You you have a duty of care and you let people know, like, things have been da-da-da-da. But that's that's fine. Yeah, it's all this like stern and uh, do this right now, do yeah. this immediately, otherwise Hamptons, you're getting... Hamptons, don't, do not rent a house from Hamptons. No, do you know what, everyone actually though ha has said, has that, said that they're not good. No, they're not. They don't We're going to put they're a complaint rude. in anyway, I'm going to put a complaint in. I don't feel comfortable 
living where we do and we pay a lot of money and I don't feel like my kids can be themselves in their own home because our neighbours just and not, have a problem with it. I like to, like, I don't want to live me like and the that. kids, yeah, I, I, I only get the morning with them, yeah, so what, I, I'm not allowed to play with my kids in the morning. Yeah, because, you get like an hour with them, literally, yeah. seven to eight and you're gone. Like, I get an hour, yeah, an hour and a half push, like, do you know what I mean? Like, Do you know what? The traffic is louder than anything else. Yeah. That's we, what, I we, reckon they're just moaning. We are on a main road and it, the traffic's constant through through the day, through the night. Yeah. Like it's it's never stops. So I'm not no. even joking. It, it's loud. Like yeah. that is louder than anything else. A called. lorry goes past. The whole house goes. <sighs> yeah, it does. It shakes. Yeah. Oh, just Mental, think, oh bro. honestly. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Ran hope, over. Let us know if you enjoyed that. Let us like, know your do, thoughts as well. Like, are we being over the top? Yeah. Do you agree? Are we being? Are you? Are you? Are, are we the Karens? Do you have arguments? I want to know. Get get juicy. Do you have arguments? Do you not? Do you think arguments are a healthy part of a relationship? Because I I back it, mate. I stand by it. Yeah, I don't think arguing every day is. I don't think arguing no, every week no, is. No, 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 you know, no. But you we're, know. we're good at communicating, but we do let. No, we are, but we do let things build up. I'm good at communicating well. No, you're not. I even said to her, because our landlord's got cameras, yeah, all, all around the properties. I said, are they is that are they live? Are they recording? Because if they are, retract that recording, yeah, from the last two months, and you tell me the noise we've been making all day, every day, through the night and early in the morning. Yeah. She was That's like, point, um, not to my understanding, they are they're not live. No, to my understanding they're not live. I thought, yeah, I'm sure they're not. Oh my god, we need to hurry up and be in the position to buy. Uh, let's buy just like a plot of land in the middle of nowhere. I'll get a mobile home, honey. Yeah, you get a nice one, mate. Get a mobile home. I don't want no neighbours. See just, you later. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Like we said, let us know. Like, subscribe. Turn on the notifications. <laughs> get over to the TikTok. Smash the flipping likes on the TikTok. <laughs> don't. Smash a bit of that. Don't be so beggy. It makes yes, me sick. Begging, yeah. So we'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Love you so. Well, oh, that was a bit cringy, wasn't it? Yeah, why are you doing that? I don't know. Why did I kiss my two fingers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really, you're really flipping irritating me today. Why? What have I, I done? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the whole situation.